Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Environment Canada meteorologist David Jones with a YouTube heads up on the longer range weather forecast for all of BC. Let's take a closer look. This is really just an FYI. Short of the very cold weather we're having right now, there isn't any other severe weather on the horizon anywhere in BC. Here's a look at the future clouds or the clouds forecast every three hours by one of our computer models through Sunday morning. Focus on northern BC. By watching the motion of the clouds, you can see the winds aloft there shifting from southwest to northwest and skies clearing over the area. This is a good example of a front encountering a ridge of high pressure and disintegrating. Let's watch again. This time focus on the area around Prince George. The clouds move east and change from orange to white, then disappear entirely. That's the system weakening as it encounters the sinking air in the ridge of high pressure. You can see the ridge of high pressure rebuilding further west. That's the bulge in the cloud that seems to be heading northward into the Gulf of Alaska. Forecasters refer to this as a retrograding ridge, a ridge that builds west instead of moving further east. Here's an animation of the storms and precipitation. I've drawn a line through the central and north coasts. As the animation runs, note how none of the precipitation advances east of this line until Tuesday morning anyway. This is typical of a blocking pattern. We've seen quite a few of these blocks since the beginning of October. On Tuesday, a warm front does move in, but again, the storm just clips the coast and never crosses the coast mountains. All of the weather systems are coming at BC from the south, feeding warm air over the Arctic or modified Arctic air that now covers the entire province. A strong temperature inversion will be a consequence of this pattern. An inversion describes a situation where the temperature increases with elevation instead of the usual decrease. The inversion will serve to trap moisture in the interior valley, so gray overcast skies will become the norm. By the way, whenever you're driving through a layer of clouds in the mountains, be aware of the potential for freezing fog. That occurs when water droplets in clouds freeze directly onto the road surface. Your vehicle's outside temperature sensor becomes an important tool when the temperature gets near freezing. Anytime the car thermometer reads 2 degrees Celsius or below, be vigilant and extra careful, especially in fog. Here's a look at the freezing level at Whistler for the next week. The spiky nature of the blue line results from the air cooling each night. The spikes reach over 3,000 meters. That's 10,000 feet. Don't be surprised if mountaintop temperatures get well above 10 degrees Celsius. Same goes for Revelstoke with the warm air aloft, but maybe not quite as warm there in the mountains. So, in the next week, here's what happens. Saturday, the temperature inversion develops and skies turn overcast in many valleys. Sunday, the inversion strengthens and the low cloud expands. The clouds will act like a blanket and moderate the overnight minimum temperatures, so at least it won't be so cold. From Monday through Saturday, the south coast, the southern interior, and the central interior remain high and dry, storm-free. The ridge may break down next weekend. That's it for today's YouTube Heads Up. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and have a great weekend.